in this video we're gonna talk about waterfall charts this is tableau do-it-yourself tutorial and the waterfall chart what is a waterfall chart so a waterfall chart is a type of a graph or a chart which helps in understanding the cumulative effect of sequentially introduced positive or negative values yeah a bit bookish so a waterfall chart is basically a chart which displays it the the measures in terms of running total and it forms a bridge type of a structure and that is why in finance sometimes it's referred to as a bridge uh, we will see how a waterfall chart looks like and uh, then we'll get a better understanding of of this type of chart it's kind of difficult but we will figure out and understand how to create it so let's get started so in this video we will see how to create waterfall charts open the save twb file which you created earlier and you can use the data source connection go to sheet a new sheet and rename it as diy with 9 i'm gonna do that so here i'm gonna rename it as diy with 9 next drag and drop the country dimension into the row shelf and then drag and drop item category and item name to the columns shelf so let's do that so columns country in the rows and item category and item name in the columns now drag and drop the sales amount to the row shelf right click and change it to a running total drag and drop the sales amount again to the colors area and change the mark type as canned so first is sales amount and um, we are going to change it to running total and then sales amount we are going to drop it on color area so let's do the first one sales amount I'm gonna drag in the row shelf and click on this I'm gonna change it using the click quick table calculation as running total and again I'm gonna drag and drop the amount in the colors Next, I'm going to change this mark type as Gantt. So you can see that a ladder is formed. But this is not yet waterfall. We have to do a small tweak in order to make it in a form as what a waterfall chart would look like. So let's see what the tweak is. This is very important step to create a waterfall chart and it's kind of a tricky step so let's see what it is create a new calculated field for sales amount multiplied by minus one and drop it to the size area so let's create a negative sales amount multiplied by minus one so sales amount multiplied by minus one negated let's let's do that so right click the sales amount in the measures say create calculated field name this field as negative sales amount and multiply here by minus one make sure the calculation is valid apply okay you have this negative sales amount drag and drop it in the size area and see the difference you can see 
I'm going to remove it again. So this is the ladder, but this is how a water ch waterfall should look like. So this is 8,000. This is added 8,000 plus 11,600 is added as 19,600. Again, it's added to 6,800. So it's like a running total and it falls, uh, it, it forms a waterfall. If you want to see what the number is, I'm going to drag and drop the sales amount again in the label section. You would see how it looks like. So it is 8,000, 11,000 plus 6,800. So 8,000, wherever it ends, it starts 11,000. Wherever it ends, it starts 6,800. So this is how it accumulates and it's kind of a running total. Let's see how to add a grand total. So from the analysis menu, select totals and say show row grand totals. Let's do that. So from the analysis menu, totals, show row grand totals. And you can see a total is added at the very end of the graph. To make it more interesting, I'm going to add customer country to the filters. Say use all. And I'm going to add a filter here, show filter. And I'm just going to see one single country. So that's India, UK, and this is US. So see how the graph changes and it's very intuitive, especially for project managers and for financial pur pur purposes. All right, so time now to pause the video here and let's do the following hands-on exercises. Please focus on this calculated field. You will understand the logic once you do it yourself. So, do it yourself exercise number 16, add a new sheet, drag and drop department, same item category and name in the column shelf, sales quantity, and then make sure you create a calculated field for sales quantity minus one. You can name it as negative sales quantity. And do it yourself exercise number 17, add a new sheet and you can see it's almost the same except it's now sales cost and you also have the row grand total the previous exercise did not have a grand total but you can add it if you want to and feel free to add labels and filters what makes you feel the the, the chart look prettier keep watching thank you